coming from spinal fractures uh, can come from the fracture itself because of the instability. You can imagine if you fracture your arm, then your arm hurts because your arm doesn't have the same mechanics as it used to. That inflammatory response that we talked about for nerve roots or facet joints, or actually that fracture can impinge on a nerve and you can end up with a radiculopathy. It goes back to that, what are the causes of sciatica? Well, one of them is fracture. How about altered spinal fractures? One of the other things it does is once that vertebral body fractures, you can imagine the muscles that connect the vertebral bodies have to uh, experience different loads of stress. So that kind of induces muscle spasm, accelerates disc degeneration, and you end up with more pain. It's kind of uh, a circle of pain, if you will. So most of these fractures are so-called osteoporotic. VCF is vertebral uh, compression fracture. Um, most of them are postmenopausal women. The traditional management of vertebral compression fractures is really just if the pain is so bad, you have to admit to the hospital so that you can get IV narcotics. You, you uh, rest the patient. You put them on monitors so that, that you don't overdrug them. And then you put this hyperextension cast on. It's really kind of not much you can do. There's no surgery for vertebral compression fracture at the present time. Really all they can do is identify that there is a compression fracture and then treat the pain and hope it gets better. And then more recently, this is actually brought from France. It was uh, back in the early 90s, this percutaneous cement injection. And they carry the terms like kyphoplasty, vertebroplasty, sacroplasty.